Okay, yesterday, of course, April Fool's Day. Brooke is staying on top of that. What's the latest, Brooke? Well, you know what? Chances are you or someone you know pulled a prank yesterday. It was April Fool's Day. I probably don't need to remind you that. And we've all seen the packaging peanuts in desk cubicles or the computer keyboard and monitor in tinfoil, but we've never seen what some coworkers did to another coworker while he was on vacation. KSL's Alex Cabrero has what may be the best office prank in Salt Lake City this year. It takes imagination to pull off something like this, even a little courage and probably permission from the office boss. And sometimes you just need plain old out-of-the-box creativity for a top-notch prank. What do you guys do? Some guys at Mrs. Fields Cookies in Salt Lake had all those qualities, and then some. Uh, I don't even think we originally planned on it being so monumental. They've all researched the many office pranks you can find on the internet and pulled most of them on each other. It just kept growing and growing. But what they came up with for this worker's cubicle has been posted and viewed on the internet as almost the new standard by which all other cubicle office pranks will be judged. Oh, I knew there would be something, but I had no idea to what scale. While Stuart Douglas was away on vacation, his co-workers began construction on his cubicle. Drywall, a light switch, a ceiling fan, mailbox, flowers, a doorbell, outside lights, even shingles, turning this once boring cubicle into a one-room house. Some kind of evil genius was at work. It's so good, Douglas doesn't plan on taking it down anytime soon. How could he? I don't think anything like this could ever be outdone. Until next year. Alex Cabrero, Eyewitness News. <laughs> An evil genius at work. I love that. Alex wanted to interview the workers involved in the prank for the story. Mrs. Fields Corporate here in Salt Lake said they wouldn't allow it. However, when he talked to the workers on the phone, they said this will be the toughest prank to top. So if you'd like to see the video, you can go to KSL.com. And Alex himself can be a cubicle prankster. That was a fun story. Though. Yeah. The little doorway. How does he get in the doorway into his cubicle there? That is an <laughs> unbelievable. It's so real. Yeah. It's like every five-year-old's dream playhouse right there in the office. <laughs> You know, it was fun.